Welcome to the Coffeeville FFA Veterinary Clinic. Today we have a customer who has brought in an 1100 pound horse for treatment of colic. Once our customer has checked in and given us all her important information, we will determine what medication is necessary for the treatment. We have determined that Vanamine Solution Injectable is a medication of choice. Now let's consult the product label. This information can be found on the bottle or by pulling up the product on the producer's website. This information should be understood by the entire vet team and the producer. You can see the dosage is 1.1 milligrams per every kilogram or 1 milliliter for every 45 kilograms. You can also find the material safety data sheet or the MSDS. The, ma the drug is administered intravenously. The injection will be administered here in the jugular vein on the left side of the horse and the anterior third of the neck. The jugular vein is found in the jugular furrow. If, if the colic continues, then additional treatment may, may be necessary. McKinsey will now be determining the dosage of vanamine that will be administered today. The dosage rate is 1 milliliter for every 45 kilograms. First, we need to figure out how many kilograms the horse is. We already know that there's 2.2 pounds and 1 kilogram. Take the 1100 pounds divided by and divide it by 2.2. This gives us 500 kilograms. Now we have to divide this number by 45 to find out how many milliliters are needed, which is 11 milliliters. We already know that 1 milliliter equals 1 cc, so our dosage is 11 cc's. We will now go over the equipment. We have a halter, a lead rope, and a humane twitch for proper restraint of the horse. We will be inserting the needle into the horse's jugular vein detached from the syringe, which tell us, tells us that we need a slip tip syringe. It is recommended that we use the smallest syringe possible to administer the most accurate dosage. The syringe that we will be using today is a disposable 12cc slip tip syringe. Benamine is the administered intravenous, will be administered intravenously through an 18 gauge 1.5 inch needle which we have here. Alex will now prepare a, a label. Okay. Drug names, Banamine Solution Injectable for Symptoms of Colic. Amount to be withdrawn is 11 cc's. Today's date is April 17, 2015. The patient's name is Banjo Becker. The veterinarian will now sign the label. It's okay. Place the label on the distal barrel of the syringe. To ensure cleanliness, we are saturating a cotton ball with alcohol and wiping the surface to kill any microbes that may be found there. Now we will uncap the needle and aspirate the syringe by pulling back to 11 cc's. I will now place the vial upside down in one hand with fingers securely around it. I will insert the needle into the rubber top of the vial. Now I will inject the air into the vial and withdraw the 11 cc's. and remove the needle from the vial. Now I will gently tap the sides until all the air bubbles are removed and slightly press the plunger. Finally, I will check to make sure that I still have the proper amount of the medication and recap the needle. Once the shot has been administered, one of the technicians will take the horse out back and walk it. If the signs of colic reappear, then another shot will be administered. Our next appointment for today is bandage removal on a customer's dog. Six weeks ago, this dog came in with a large laceration that could not be sutured on the anterior of its front leg. Since then, it has been brought in several times for the bandage to be changed, and now it is time for the bandage to be completely removed. We have updated all of the animal's information and weight. We will take it to the back to remove its bandage. I will put the dog into lateral recumbulance 
by reaching around to the front and grabbing its front and back legs and gently laying her on her side. So I will begin at the proximal end of the limb and work my way to the distal end. The laceration is on the top of the leg, so I will cut back here. I'll make sure to place the blunt end of the scissors against your skin. I will keep the blade laying flat against the skin and the end slightly raised in contact with the bandage. I will cut the bandage off while um, off, Kayla will remove the bandage layers in a firm motion. Once the bandage has been removed, we will notify the veterinarian and check the laceration for her proper healing. Once the dog has been checked by the vet, we begin cleaning up. We will need to sterilize the table and the scissors and properly dispose of the bandage. Once we have completed the cleanup, the dog is free to go home. Thank you for watching our vet clinic demonstration.